Hi, welcome to what's happening here at the top five stories. At number one, an international news agency, Reuters, has accused the Nigerian army of running a program where forceful abortions were carried out on female victims of Boko Haram Islamic State in West African province. These were contained in an investigation published on Wednesday. The report claimed that the army carried out the abortions without the person's consent and that at least 10,000 pregnancies have been illegally terminated. The probe, according to Reuters, was based on the accounts of 33 victims, hospital staff and security officials as well as documents guarded. However, the military denied infanticide allegations days before it was published and accused the news agency of wickedness. At number two, the Independent National Electoral Commission on Wednesday clarified a video circulating on various social media platforms showing INEC staff harvesting details of permanent voter cards. The video clip showed the staff at its Festac Town Amuo Dauphin local government area office in Lagos extracting voter identification numbers from PVCs. In a statement, INEC National Commissioner Festus Okoye said it was not for a malicious reason but to ease the process of collection of PVCs. At number three, the Inspector General of Police Usman Baba has launched Central Moto Registry Command Center at the force headquarters in Abuja to enable members of the public to report cases of stolen vehicles in the country for possible recovery. The force public relations officer Olumi Yuwa Adejobi in a statement on Wednesday said the digitalized center was domiciled at the Department of Information and Communication Technology. He said the IGP admonished Nigerians and other residents in the country to take advantage of the platform to upload their vehicle information on the website with effects from December 7, 2022 as a security step for preventing it from being stolen or re-registered. At number 4 on Wednesday, Enugu Assembly member representing Aniwi constituency Chinedu Oku raised concerns when he paid a cut to visit to the state's commissioner of police, Ahmed Amani. Oku appealed to Amani to intensify efforts to put an immediate end to the security breaches. He further said that the development was causing panic and tension among the residents in the state. The lawmaker, who is the House Committee Chair on Youth and Security, said the House was worried by the unwholesome development. The lawmakers appealed to the police boards to go after the perpetrators and bring them to justice. At number five, worried over the non-payment of salaries by the Abia state government, the Nigerian Medical Association said it will commence an indefinite strike in the state on December 8. This is contained in a communique issued by NMA's chairman Dr. Abali Isaiah and secretary Dr. Daniel Ekeleme after meeting on Wednesday in Abba, the state's commercial nerve. The associated lamented that their colleagues working at the Abia State University Teaching Hospital and the Health Management Board are being owed between 21 to 25 months and 13 months salary areas, respectively. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening. Thank you.